Yeah, guys, so I'd just be aware of this. Most, the, the vast majority of calculators are allowed on the ACT. There's a few that aren't, um, primarily for the solver function. For those that are really good with your calculator, you'll see that here, right? These ones, calculators with built-in download computer system, algebra system functionality, right? So these guys here, those are the primary ones, particularly the 89 and the CAS. CAS has become more popular lately. So I'll, I'll post the ACT calculator policy. It's also posted, uh, so you guys will see this in the live chat here. Just basically make sure that you, uh, the vast majority of, of calculators are, are valid. I think all of them maybe are valid on the SAT. The SAT is uh, more lenient with this. But there's your ACT calculator policy. Okay, so um, yeah, like I said, I, I would just make sure that your calculator works. If you go through that document, you should be pretty good. Um, the TI-84, right? So 84 is easily the most popular. If you have any version of the 84, you're good to go. So don't worry. Uh, and again, that's the easily, maybe 83, that's the old, kind of the older version of the 84. But 83 and 84 are the two most popular calculator, graphing calculators. If you have assigned, all scientific calculators are, are you know, are good to go. So uh, I don't think anybody should have any questions with that. All right, any questions with the calculator policy throughout the live, throughout the stream, just let us know. We'll go through it. Uh, but again, I, I think that everybody's pretty, pretty covered with that stuff.